where we will be in about a year. I don't think we've seen the worst yet. I think we'll still continue to see more infections. I hope by next year at this time, we will have gone through a cycle and we don't have a second season of it. And if we do, hopefully we have a vaccine that might be able to help with public health measures to mitigate the impact. Could we be helped by the fact that this virus tends to like cold and dry and it doesn't we, like warm and moist? We could. Respiratory viruses in general, the concept of a respiratory-borne illness like influenza or other cold viruses, even coronaviruses, tend to diminish as you get into the warmer weather for a number of reasons. People tend to stay outside more as opposed to closed spaces. The virus itself it doesn't like warm, moist as much as it likes cold, dry, so that it is conceivable on principle alone that that could happen. But there's no guarantee that this particular coronavirus is going to diminish when the weather gets warmer. But I hope it does, but we can't guarantee it. No guarantee. I said we would get it in two to three months. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to go into people closer to two months rather than three months. And when you say go into people, a trial, which you said it'll take about a year or more before right. it could really yeah. be tested and yeah. find the out first, if it's safe The first and step in a trial is phase one to determine safety and does it induce the kind of response that you would predict would be protective. That's an important step. Uh, with SARS, that took 20 months. Uh, if you get it down to two months, that's pretty good. But then you have a multi-step process, and that's one of the things we want to make sure the American public don't get confused about, because it'll take three or four months to see if it's safe and induces a good response. Then you go to the real proof of the pudding, which is the phase two and then the phase three. But even with phase two, you don't only see 100 to 1,000 or more people. That's phase two. Phase one is 45 people. So when you go to phase two, that would take yet again another six to eight months in an environment in which there are infections because you want to show it works. You add all of that up, and you're dealing with a year to a year and a half at the earliest. Then you've got to scale up to make enough doses to get to the American people. So when I tell the vaccine story, there's good news and there's sobering news. The good news is we did it more quickly than we've ever done it. The sobering news is that it's not ready for prime time for what we're going through now. What's your belly tell you about where we will be in about a year? I don't think we've seen the worst yet. Mm -hmm. I think we'll still continue to see more infections. I hope by next year at this time, we will have gone through a cycle and we don't have a second season of it. And if we do, hopefully we have a vaccine that might be able to help with public health measures to mitigate the impact. Could we be helped by the fact that this virus سمعتوا كل شيء عم حطوا لكم اياه على الفيديو حتى تقدروا تسمعوا هذا اللي بقدر بعمل لكم اياه لو كنت طبيب كنت بقول لكم اكثر هذا اهم رئيس الدائره تبع الوبائات بالولايات المتحده الامريكيه يعني بالعالم له بالوظيفه من وقت ما تخرج دكتور وهو اول من قال عن الايدز عن السيدا وقال له للرئيس دونالد ريغان هيدي السيدة الايدز مشكلة كبيرة على المجتمع الامريكي ما قبض الرئيس ريغان يعني ما تحرك ايجابيا نحو هال هالحديث اللي سمعه وقت اللي روكيتسن الممثل السينما لانه رونالد ريغان الرئيس كان هو ممثل سينما ميد بالايدز بالسيدة تحرك بعد منه شو المطلوب هلا انه يموت شخص مهم كثير حتى نوعى ونمشي مثل كل ضيعة انا بقول بدول الهلال الخصيب كل حي وكل ضيعة يعني لازم يموت ابنه للوجيه او بنته للوجيه اللي كان اسمه شيخ واللي كان اسمه سيد واللي كان اسمه باك واللي كان اسمه المعلم واللي كان اسمه دولة الرئيس واللي كان اسمه عطوفة الرئيس والشو ما كان اسمه وقتها بيصير يتحرك ايجابيا مظبوط
هذا السؤال اللي ما نعني فهمه كله ما نعرفين أشفي حطيت لك أنت تسمعه شكرا